What's up, guys? It's Raul here. Bring you guys another NHL 19 be a not be a pro Quebec Nordiques episode. Episode number nine. Today we have the most famous to me in all of Canada. The Battle of Quebec. Yes, guys, we are finally bringing it back. Um, finally, for the final time, the Battle of Quebec is going to be played in this series. Um, I'm just going to let you know that in, like, episode... I'm going to tell you this right now. Episode 11 is going to feature another doubleheader. And then episode number 10 is going to feature... Um, another single game, okay? We are a WHA, it used to be a WHA first uh, team. So now, we're going to start it off with a face-off. And first pass goes to Connor Murphy. So, really want to discuss about some things today. Um, first off. Oh gosh, goalies! I, why can't they go for goalie goals? Um. Anyway, I am planning on interestingly wanting a Xbox 360 SC. Connor Murphy scored a goal because the Canadian Montreal Canadian just simply did nothing. <laughs> so I like to put it. Anyway, on to what I was saying. Might have, I really want an Xbox 360 because it's for NCAA games, NCAA football games, especially because they have college teams and that would be interesting to spread my content into that area because um, currently I only do um, NFL NHL, and that's it. Well, pre predominantly NFL, now pre now dominantly NHL. So, if I go into another realm, which is college football, my channel could go immensely, really. Also, if I buy the Xbox 360, as you can see, Larkin just scored as a goal. The second goal of the first period. Um, if, uh, I do buy an Xbox 360, I could actually put play past Madden's, like Madden 13, 12, 11, those games. For NCAA, I could do the same. For, um, uh, NHL, I could also do that. I do really want to have... Some one season games like for NCAA, I might do a dynasty or something. As you can see, number 10, 70 Moro scored us the, a goal. I'm excited. So, anyway, if I do get an Xbox 360, I might push into that. So, like, if it's like NCAA, I might do NCAA 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, even possibly. So, like, I would buy all those games, play it, like, do an RTG, a Dynasty, and that's it. That's all I will do. I would do it for some time and then, like, do one for each. So that way I wouldn't be like, oh gosh, like, it's awkward. For me to keep repetitively do a certain game for a, a whole who knows how long. But like for me, I really like to keep things consistent. So for me, I might do NCAA 14 a lot. But like for 30, 12, 10, or even 9, if I could, I might not do it as much. I might do one season, one or two. One Dynasty, one RTG, 
and that's it. I might as well leave it at that. That's how I like to put it. For basketball, I don't know which basketball dynasty I would do, because I am not good at basketball. It comes as good as, as you can see. Um, we are four to zero in Montreal. Oh gosh, this is where things um get real interesting. Because from this moment onwards, we do not score a single goal a second at third period. And sorry for that interruption. <sighs> it's real disappointing. I thought like the Montreal Canadiens would be like a uh, easy, like uh, like guy, but like lots of our players, like especially me personally, he says I'm controlling them. I try and find a uh, like a gap, but does it work? Like Connor Mur, that should have been a goal, really. Well, not really, but like then like that. There's so many op opportunities. Yeah, I don't know if I keep missing or whatever, but hey, I'm trying my best. Let's go see Odd Man Russian. Um. We got scored through the legs by uh, it's just nuts. So that's my plan. That's really my plan. If it ever comes to like, um, if if, if it ever comes to plan, then I will do it. If I don't, well then I. Uh, I will do it when I'm older, honestly. I really do like the fact that I am thinking about doing new games, because that's just how I like it, really, so. Yeah. I like it. I really do like the fact that I am just doing or. Like, this content for me, it's just enjoying, like, Quebec Nordiques transferring over to the Colorado Rockies. Now it's time to bring an OG factor into it. Like, if I could do NHL 18, that would be sweet. But I... Mm, it's not really considered a retro, if you think about it. But, like, hey... Any show 20 is coming out, which I am very excited because, um, that's very, very fun. I am very fond of, like, NHL 20 right now because, um, that's what I like to see. Like, I might do a video, I might, I'm going to say this, I might do a video on, like, NHL, like, 20 stuff to see like some footage and all so that's what I'm uh, thinking but like quite honestly I don't know if I'm ready to do some any show 20 as you can see a big hit um uh, if I'm gonna not do NHL 20 I might do NHL 19 Madden 19, because all the talks are about, like, and the next game, but, like, lots of people do play that game, so, yeah. Like, people who want to do, like, retro stuff, I just, like, like, say, hey, if this comes to for, um, into, you know, like, um, like, something comes up, then I'm, okay, like, for tuition, like something comes up for something, and I, okay. But, like, honestly, honestly, like, guys, I might just do, until, like, like Christmas break comes at a sale, then I will buy NHL, uh, NHL 20 and Matter 20. And I can sell all my retro game stuff. 
because I wanted to do a series on Madden 19 where I just do maybe like a draft class team or I mean like a ultimate team, but man, that would like be like one season. Maybe that could happen. Like if I decided to do that, then I could decide to do that. I don't, well, then I don't, so, like, I'm thinking about doing that, because, quite honestly, that's my thing, I really want to try out something new, I might do a 2019 draft class team, possibly, that, when it comes to, for, for something, then, it can be alright, and, I mean, honestly, I do like that, so, Um, the fact that I think that something, some of my ideas that are revealing to you guys, I might, I'm, it might be worth it. As you can see, you made a tremendous, nice, good save. And now, we're trying to get a goal, but, Trace Bertrand, then number 55, and then we get, NLT, a power play, which I'm going to tell you, right now, we do not score. They're mounting a comeback, which I do not like. As you can see, the score is 4-2, which I absolutely Hey, I tried to make a 5 to whatever goal number uh, the Montreal Canadiens have. It's just so frustrating. Because all of our players are like, for some reason, for some reason, the computer decides, you know what, I'm just going to have four goals, and that's it. EA, I have scored like 10 goals, 12 goals, or even like 14, in my Be a Pro series. And sometimes, franchise mode. How are you going to allow... Something like this to happen. Like, Moro tries to do that. Honestly, can you think of something better or, like, some AI system to, like, A, this happens or, like, this happens. As you can see, we skipped a third period. This is where I really get frustrated in my mind. And then this happens. Fight is about to break out, I think. And then bad discipline happens. And then, like, Weber. Oh, gosh. I, oh, oh like, the mirrors. Or it gets Weber. That, and that will not work out. And now it's a four on four. Like, a, uh, it's just making me mad on that. So, the, like, as you can see, Connor Murphy is trying to do something. I've tried to do something with this team. And now, this is not working out. Thank God that was not a goal. A 4-on-4, four 3-on-3? Four, three four, three? You're pretty even on anything, so... I mean, whatever it takes, as I might as well say. So, <laughs> yeah. As you would, it's, it's, it's like, I just don't like the fact that we're, like, the way the game is play, being played out. It, it just really does not make sense. It really does not make sense whatsoever. And now the goalie's doing poke checks, which I hate now. It's number 71 Lurkin is doing something. At least he's contributing. Um... Uh, yeah, now another uh, one of those delays, no connections, those signal stuff. Now I'm trying to do something like, I'm trying to go back, and I go front with Percy. Yes, this is Percy. Then Lorkin, and then I decide to do that, and for some reason, of course, that obviously, sorry for my voice crack, does not. Sorry, that that does not work, and then thankfully the goalie makes a great save. <laughs> She's scaring me, and Larkin is doing a good job. So, 
Um, our line three is coming up, and basically we just have to keep this team all together. But no, Moro, and then thank God that happens, and thankfully I saved off that part. If I did not have something would have happened. Too early, made a m bad mistake. Thankfully, uh, 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 defensive recovery happened. So now Gagner tries to score himself a goal on the third line. I don't know what's going on with me. Uh, so now I went outside. This happens. Uh, at this point, I was like, really? Like, Moro did that? And now, like, this. Like, this is happening. And now, I don't know what's going to happen to us. If we lose from a 4 and 0 comeback, I am going to. I was actually like getting pissed, like legitimately. Mm, it was not good at all. See what I mean? We did not score a single goal in the second half for a period. We only did it uh, in the um, first period, which was four goals. As you can see, number 13 tries to score a goal. Obviously, that did not work at all. I don't know what's going on. And all of the Montreal Canadiens are acting as if they're defensive players. Montreal, if you did not know, no, they dropped a Subban. And he was a monster on that team. Now he's with the Nashville Predators. Well, he used to be with the Nashville Predators. Now, for some reason, he's with the New Jersey Devils. Are you kidding me? And now... A one-timer goal happens. Like, you shoot, pass, and then when it, when it comes to you, you immediately shoot it at the correct time. Oh my gosh, I was actually mad. I was actually thinking to myself, could there be a comeback? And I was thinking to myself at this current point, with like a minute to go, um, I was in like panic mode because I didn't want to go to overtime. In my mind, I was really scared so much. And then the shot happened. Again, between the legs, just like another goal in, like, second period happened. Or even first. This is where I decided to put my game up to the next level. Just like a battle of, uh, like, a real-life battle of, of Quebec game would happen. So I decided, you know what? Make it clean. Just make it clean. And nothing would have to go to wait. I still try to score some goals. <sighs> it still did not work at all whatsoever. Don't know why, but hey, it is what it is. And so I'm just like in like frustration to the point where I just do not get it. I do not get it whatsoever. So now, with a little bit left to go, with our third line coming up, I try to score a goal. Poke shock. A poke shock. Uh, I, um, uh, thankfully, the goalie did that. I, thankfully, I passed it. And now, for whatever reason that happened, it is now on to 3-on-3 three three overtime. This is where I stepped my game up a lot because I did not want the Quebec Nordiques to lose. Actually, you, uh, if uh, if you did not know, I actually switched Larkin and Bergeron. Yeah. 
tried to Lorcan tried to score the winning goals. Good try, but that did not work. I don't know why. Now I did that. I didn't know what to do at that point, so we basically to go now that happened. So on uh, number eleven, Gallagher tries to shoot a goal. Lorkin, a very bad position, tries to score a goal. Gallagher again tries to score a goal. Um. Uh. It's just an um very bad. It's horrible. Now Lorkin is going to get the puck. So, um, yeah, Demers is doing his thing. So he goes up. He shoots. That would have been the game winning goal, but the puck is frozen. And so Bergeron comes in with Connor Murphy. Connor Murphy shoots. Bergeron scores the game winning goal without the goalie did not do anything. Connor Murphy to Bergeron, that sealed the deal. And I was like, man, this game would have been over in the beginning, but we stopped the comeback and we did our thing. Now, the next episode is the most important episode. Because we're going up against the division leader, the Chicago Blackhawks. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Y'all are legends of my book, and as for me, I'll see y'all in episode 10 of the Quebec Nordiques. It's the Chicago Blackhawks. Peace. Thank you for supporting this series.